everyone and welcome to this video and if you're new welcome to my channel well yes my voice sounds very different because I'm, uh, I have a cold and it, I wasn't able to speak for four or five days and right now it sounds terrible but I'm very very sorry I needed to do this video I'm very excited I got some new uh, products from Rebecca Stella and uh, this is the first time I try anything from her brand so that's why I'm very excited to do this video and it's very early in the morning here in Sweden it's six o'clock in the morning so I'm getting ready for the work and uh, before my children uh, wake up so yeah let's just start if you want to see what products I'm talking about please keep on watching now Rebecca Stella was on or is a model or she and she has her own blog and she uh, hostess for some shows uh, TV programs and uh, she has some beautiful clothing line I've never tried anything from her, her line because I just heard about her brand for a couple days ago she also has a makeup line and the makeup is not very expensive so I'm very happy that it's affordable and uh, the shipping was also very good and very fast and they ship to many countries so I'll put the link down below uh, it came in this with her name and then inside it was uh, this package package with all the products so I've opened and swatched the foundation and nothing else because she doesn't have many different shades to choose from I think if I'm not wrong five or six different shades um, I will put the information down below but I bought a number three and it is a little bit darker than my skin tone but I will make it work the first thing we are going to try is this primer that's called flawless and look how beautiful this packaging packaging is it's black it's matte the name is in gold I really like the packaging and the bottle is glass <clears throat> and it says Flawless primer will give you a perfect, long-lasting base for your makeup. It smooths and e uh, evens out your skin complexion and helps the skin uh, mainta maintain hydrated. I'm going to try foundation and the primer together, and it's I know the best thing for me it will be to try the foundation with my usual pr primer. But I'm really excited and I really want to try this pr primer too. So I'm going to try it today and see for how long those two products all the product that I have will last and then of course I'm going to try the foundation with different primers and primer with the different foundations and give you my full op opinion when I do the haul video uh, in the end of the month so but really nice glass packaging and it's see-through see oh the primer is a thick you can see feels almost like a silicone primer it smells nice I think I put a little bit too much but we'll see I also bought her beauty sponge uh, and I already wet it because uh, I want to try and use it in this video but I bought in black and she has a couple of different colors but I just uh, I don't know everything was every pocket packaging was black so I, I decide to get go with the black and it feels very soft softer than a beauty blender okay I don't know if it will work but we'll see I really love my beauty blender so I haven't found anything that can replace that I can't really see any difference on my skin right now with the primer only the primer but we'll uh, put the foundation and the rest of the makeup and we'll see how they go on over the primer but right now it feels good it feels nice on then we go over to the foundation the same black packaging and it's called all about that base extra long-lasting skin balance foundation restores the skin's elasticity and hides all imperfections the color is balanced by the skin with 100% coverage and lasts for 12 hours shake before use and I have in uh, number 03 it is a little bit darker than my skin tone but same nice black packaging you can see the shade here it looks lighter than it really is I swatched it 
last night when I got the package because I, I, I was so curious. I love to try new foundations. And you and maybe if you're my subscriber, you already saw that I tried like four different, I think, foundations this month. Eyeshadow palettes and um, foundations are my addiction. So I'm going to try it with, a, uh, with the brush first and see. It's a little bit thick. Smells like cookies. Nice. Okay, one thin layer with the brush. Uh, the shade is a little bit darker than my skin, but it's not terrible. Um, it looks like a nice coverage, and it feels a little bit sticky right now. But I don't know. I'm not kind of blown away with the brush. Let's try it with a beauty blender. Or not beauty blender, but her beauty sponge on this side. I don't know which side I prefer more. I think I think this side with the brush it's more even and more coverage than with the sponge, but the sponge is very nice and very soft, so I do like it. And I think I'm going to use the brush and apply one more coat. See if it, I can build it up a little bit. I'm going over with the this sponge just to even out the strokes from the brush so right now I think the foundation looks nice I, I really think so and it feels very light on the skin now I don't have a concealer from her brand but I'm going to use this NARS concealer my favorite because it is light and this foundation is a little bit darker So let's see how the foundation looks on my skin right now. It looks very nice. I like how it looks around my nose also. Also compact powder, translucent. Matte translucent powder with a velvet finish for flawless look all day. A mineral and jojoba oil based formula that cares and protects your skin and guarantees an ideal hydrating level. Everything feels elegant and nice and very expensive, but it's not, it's very affordable. It has a nice mirror. And this is the powder. Now I did swatch, not swatch, yes, I swatched it yesterday and it kind of looked a little bit powdery on my s hand. I'm uh, scared to use it, but I'm going to do that. If it looks a little bit powdery here on my hand, but maybe it will go over the foundation much better. We'll see. Ooh. Look, a little bit of feedback, but... So this powder is very powdery, I don't know if you can see it, it's kind of everywhere right now, on my black pants too. It, it looks nice on the skin. I don't have a contour shade, so I'm going to use use the one that I always use. Okay, and then we go over to the bronzer. Same packaging as the powder. A bronzing powder that allows your skin to look sun-kissed all year round, rich in you know, uh, micronized pearl pigment that leaves your skin smooth and illuminated. So this is a very matte foundation. So this bronzer, it has some shimmer in it or shimmer. I don't know if, if I should call it shimmer, but let's use my favorite brush. Ooh, that's also very powdery. You have to be very careful when you're going to these 
That's pigmented. I think I went a little bit heavy. Wow. My hair is everywhere. I don't think it's too orangey or anything. It's a little bit warm, but it, I think it looks nice on my skin tone. So I didn't purchase the bl blush from her. Other brushes from Makeup Obsession that I want to try. So before I go on with a couple of more products that I have, I'm going to do my makeup, eye makeup and I'll be right back. Then I have a new mascara that is called Eyes Wide Shut. This mascara for indivi individual lash cre creation, incredible volume effect, everything is cool to free. This is the packaging, it's beautiful, everything looks the same, nice, smooth, elegant. So let's take the mascara. Oh, this looks nice. Well, it's black and I don't know. It doesn't give me wow, the first coat, but we are going to take one more coat. It looks good. I don't know. The second coat gave them a better look. My lashes, they are a little bit longer. They're separate. Beautiful everyday mascara so I do like it and it smells nice it smells also like cookies or something okay now we have two more primer uh, products I have a lip pen and this is in shade reckless and I have a lipstick in I hoped similar shade and this is in hush looks the same packaging as the foundation and the primer I like it this is the shade it looks nice peachy nude shade she only had this and one darker shade I don't know if it's brown or but let's try this pen so the, pe the pen is soft and nice and I think this shade is beautiful and let's go to the lipstick and let's do a swatch Ooh creamy it's very similar to the pen has same sense as the as the rest of the products I really like this lipstick it looks beautiful on me so <clears throat> I'm going to take the lipstick with me today to the work and right now it's 6.53 and I'm going to help my children get ready and I'm going to work I'm trying to do some checking and we're going to do a wear test the foundation looks very nice right now and the bronzer I, li I really like the powder also so hi everyone it's almost five o'clock just came home from the work and I'm very tired and I have so much to do so I'm going to remove the makeup I had this foundation or the makeup on for uh, almost 10 hours and I uh, really enjoy how it feels let me take my glasses off and as I can l look at myself now I do look <coughs> excuse me I do look a little bit oily uh, but I look oily right now in with every foundation that I have uh, I really love how this bronzer looks on my skin it's still there I can still see it the powder is beautiful I also have a steel foundation on my chin and I all I did touch my chin a lot of times and my nose today but the foundation is still there so I don't really know if it's the foundation or the primer that helped this situation but I'm going to try the foundation with different primers and the funda and the primer with different foundations so I can really see which one of those work or maybe both of them or those the combination these two together I don't know we'll see uh, let's just zoom in so you can see better it didn't set into my lines it does look a little bit I don't know it's a little bit oily but the foundation is still there a little bit uh, streaky but I like I said I did touch my nose a couple of times today but the bronzer is still there 
some foundation still it a little bit is gone but there is still some foundation doesn't look terrible really doesn't look terrible when i look very close but the lipstick i really love the color i really love how it feels but look it settles here and i tried to remove it a couple of times and uh, i don't know what i really feel about that lipstick i'm not really sure i had to reply it a couple of times and it gathers down here so it doesn't look nice and the mascara it didn't transform uh, transform down uh, under my uh, under my eyes and i really really like that it looks nice it's like a everyday mascara uh, maybe you can build it up with three or four layers i don't know but it's black just a little bit down here but otherwise it looks very good after 10 hours i really like that about the mascara like i said the lipstick is the only thing that kind of bothered me today nothing else um, i did um, to remove some oiliness from my face once today and i think it looks okay i mean i think it looks okay i do like her makeup brand i think it's beautiful packaging i love black and gold packaging i love gold and i think black and gold goes so beautiful together i really like her products now uh, i do really enjoy the foundation and the primer right now and i do like the powders the setting powder and the bronzer the bronzer is beautiful i really like also the sponge the only thing i really didn't like is the lipstick it looks so beautiful but for some reason i don't know if i need um, like a lip primer i have two of those i know what brand but i uh, i love the shade it looks nice the gathers in the corners and i don't like that i don't like that uh, otherwise i'm happy with all the products i will put link down below if you want to check them out like, give a thumbs up if you like this kind of videos and thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and see you in my next video. Bye!